This is the Fantasy Road Show. Well, I love it. Let's get into the Titans. That's why we're here, man. Um, so I kind of think starting off with the coaching change is probably a great way to start. So Callahan, to me, was a great hire. I want to hear your thoughts there. Yeah. Um, I mean, the coaching, it was – I don't want to talk – you know, I want to talk focus on, on Callahan, but I, I would say like, you know, Vrabel was a phenomenal and I think is a phenomenal coach. Um, did did a lot of special things for the organization. But I, like as a fan, there were weird tea leaves kind of throughout the season. So I, I never felt that Vrabel was potentially on the outs more than than really as this as the season progressed. So when when we did make the decision to to make a change at head coach, um, it was it was it was it was strange because like what a, what a phenomenal coach that brought such an identity and culture and and, and overall a winning a winning um, um, experience to the team. But I'm very excited for Brian Callahan. Um, obviously, wasn't overly familiar with him, you know, prior um, to 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 us even starting an interview. I think. Oftentimes, like offensive coordinators from offensive staffs are often overlooked a little bit and not the hottest names. But um, coaching tree speaks for itself. Obviously, you know, just grew up in locker rooms um, through through his dad, Bill. But um, over over the course of his career has worked for a variety of different coaches, variety of different schemes. I don't think he comes from one particular. I know he doesn't come from one particular branch. But so it's like he's got exposure through like a John Gruden offense, um, um, a Gary Kubiak offense, by by proxy, Sean McVay offense. And I think even what Cincinnati did um, and has done over the past years with Joe Burrow, like, and just that that team as a whole has has evolved and flexed to, 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 to not be even the same, not only season to season, but game to game. Um, they did a really nice job once once Burrow went down um, in, in, in the middle of last season. Um, I, I think that as a, as a Titans fan, as an organization, we have, for better or for worse, really stuck to kind of a black and blue football, run the ball, play defense uh, mentality, regardless of where our coaches, regardless of where our coaches have been. I don't know if that's necessarily going to change with, with Callahan. I think there's truths to playing good and successful football. But, but something I'm just very excited about with, with Brian Callahan's hire is is a commitment to to looking to make some fundamental changes offensively and and invest in the person who is in my opinion the single most important person in the building and that's Will Levis. Yeah, you mentioned um so you mentioned identity. Uh I don't want to jump to Bra- Vrabel. I want to give Callahan his too, but um how does the Titans keep that identity that I mean I mean Vrabel, that's what he brought to the team. He kind of created that culture. You want to keep that as an organization, but you also want to um, move on to the next evolution um, of the team and offense, like you just mentioned with Callahan. So how do you kind of keep that identity while letting Callahan still take the reins? Totally, yeah. And I, I think if I remember correctly, I think Callahan alluded to it a little bit in his press conference. And these are these are cliches, but but just like the physical element of football is never going to go away. And then that was Vrabel's MO almost to a fault. Like we were making, um, you know, 53 man personnel decisions based on guys who were just more physical, less, not necessarily even the more talented guys who can help on a game to game basis. So I, I think that the physical element and even the, the hiring of Denard Wilson as our defensive coordinator out of, out of Baltimore, just like vi- violent, fast blitz, blitz centric foot, blitz centric defense, uh, which wasn't necessarily our MO in our previous regime. I think these are just truths of, of playing successful football and, w- and winning football games that, that Kalen is going to be consistent with. Just the prioritization of an offensive line and keeping your quarterback upright. And obviously, like, Kalen has made some interesting comments that I'm sure we'll talk about later about, like, how he even views, like, the, the Jamar chase Panay Sewell conversation from a few years ago. I think we're going to be in a similar in a similar scenario um, this, this upcoming draft. Um, I, I, I just think that more than anything, though, um, what I'm what I'm excited about um, in the new regime that I think Vrabel got a gets a bad rap on. I don't think it's totally true, but the the the, the sheer prioritization of getting the ball in your best player's hands consistently, like guys who aren't named, obviously he won't be. With, I don't expect them to be with the team, but guys who aren't named Derrick Henry, getting the ball in your playmaker's hands, um, and, and making sure your playmakers are on the field 
there were a lot of, you know, like 13 personnel formations where we were literally telegraphing what we were going to do because we had a four string wide receiver on the field because he was a better blocker than DeAndre Hopkins. Like just th- that type of that type of um, obsession in terms of even down to the details of personnel um, is, is something I'm excited about out of, out of Callahan.